Here we're going to investigate bulk transport. So the reason why I have this image of a large tanker ship is this is moving a large quantity of materials. And we're going to relate this to cells in biology and how do cells move large quantities of material in and throughout their um, environments. So some of this might sound familiar. Uh, bulk transport involves these vesicles allow small particles or groups of molecules to enter or leave the cell without actually passing through the membrane. It's containing them. Two mechanisms of bulk transport are endocytosis and exocytosis. So endo is taking something in. Exocytosis is something is leaving or exiting the cell. So bulk uh, transport is to transport large particles and macromolecules across the plasma membrane. Our endocytosis has three different types and our exocytosis has one major type. So endocytosis is receptor mediated, pinocytosis and phagocytosis. So phagocytosis um, is cell eating. In this case we have the engulfing of objects. This happens in our immune system quite a bit. Here we have a neutrophil which is a white blood cell chasing down and attacking this bacteria. It's not eating any of the red blood cells, these round kind of round looking cells here, uh, because it's recognizing those itself. It's recognizing this small little bacteria as an invader, and that's why it's chasing it down and ultimately engulfing it there. It would engulf it, bind to it, engulf it, and then use lysosomes, which contain digestive enzymes, to help break it down to basically soluble debris that's not going to harm the cell. Pinocytosis is the cell drinking. Uh, and sometimes drink extracellular fluid. It's binding to substances and it's pinching off and it's taking in typically ions with a lot of water. So pinocytosis is kind of the pinching here of the membranes and it's created the vesicle and it's collecting um, extracellular fluid, typically ions along with water. Receptor mediated endocytosis. This is uh, the most efficient form. It's receptors um, on the actual um, exterior surface of the cell membrane that bind to target molecules, specific target molecules. They're coat vesicles and they carry ligands and receptors into the cell. So here we have a receptor. It's binding only to one very specific thing. That one very specific thing, uh, doesn't matter what else is around the cell, that's what it's binding to and that's what it's collecting. And that's essentially what's accumulating. So this receptor media is important because it's the cell's way of being able to bind to and collect only one specific substance. Instead of just randomly grabbing things, it's able to bind something very specific. The opposite process of all this is says exocytosis. It's the reverse of endocytosis. Instead of taking something in, it is removing of something. And this could be waste, something that has an excess amount of, something that another cell may need, it could be a signal. So exocytosis, I don't want you always to think of wastes even though that's typically what it's associated with, but it could be other valuable signals to get uh, out into the extracellular fluid so that cells around it can be have that signal, and that's one way of communication between cells. The last part here, um, the thyroid hormone synthesis process, it's very complex. However, um, you should be able to understand the circled items here, and I circled them in blue here. Some of these take you back to some other video lectures, such as organelles with the nucleus and endoplasmic reticulum, our symporters, what those are about, endocytosis, what is that, and exocytosis. So this is kind of a good way to kind of make sure you're able to kind of put all the pieces together from the series of videos that I have created. Uh, you're welcome to go back and look at some of those if you're unfamiliar with some of these terms, so that you're able now to start to understand a little bit more of some of the processes that occur. As you can see here, just thyroid hormones, very complex. You may not understand all the parts, but you should be able to tease out and understand some of the aspects that are going on here to help you begin to understand the larger process.